Welcome back to County Line Sports. I'm your host, Bill Downing, and the MHSA playoffs are right around the corner. They start this Friday night, and one team that is on an absolute tear four straight years is the Baldwin Panthers. And we have head coach Doug Bowles on the phone. And, Coach, welcome back, and congratulations. Uh, thank you, Bill, very much. Uh, thanks for having me. I tell you, when you, when you look at uh, the uh, selection show on Sunday, you're sitting there, you got your team there, and you're just like, uh, I don't know. You know, with uh, four and four, you're saying to yourself, I think, that, you know, in your mind, you knew that uh, you had a team that could get in there when they finally showed Baldwin in the playoffs again for four straight years, and you're taking on Frankfurt. How good did that feel? Oh, it was a great. It was a great feeling. You know, it's a sigh of relief. Um, obviously, you know, we didn't we didn't get it done on the field on Friday night, so it was a little disappointing. But um, we had a tough schedule this season. I played some real quality opponents, and um, just really, really happy for my seniors. Um, four straight years. You know, not many teams um, can say that. You know, unless they're a powerhouse, and we're we're trying to get our. Our, our team and to be a, a good football program, and we're headed in that direction. Absolutely, and when you take a look at uh, uh, the Frankfurt Panthers, I believe it is, it sounds like it's the Battle of the Panthers this Friday night. Uh, have you ever played in Frankfurt? Because I can tell you uh, their home record is pretty darn good, but you know what? They're coming off a pretty good loss to Onekama last week. Um, I personally, no, I've never played there. Um, Baldwin's played them in the past. Uh, we thought we were going to play them last year. Um, the way the seeds were set up, they got upset in the first round, and uh, so we played Central Lake. But, yeah, we have tremendous respect for Frankfurt, their program, the amount of times they've been to the playoffs, the success they've had. Um, we're just um, cherishing the opportunity to go there and, and um, show them that Baldwin can play football too. Absolutely, and you know you guys can because uh, last year, it seems like every year you're breaking uh, new ground and new records at uh, uh, in Baldwin. And uh, this season, uh, nothing short of a fourth year in the playoffs. I mean, that's uh, something unheard of in Baldwin because you said first playoff wins, and then you had uh, you went to district and you won that, and then you went to the regional game. So many different steps you've taken as head coach with these kids. And uh, one thing is, like you said, this senior class, all four years have been in the playoffs. Uh, that's an amazing feat for any high school. Uh, what does Frankfurt bring to the table that you're going to have to counter defensively and offensively this Friday night? Well, the good thing for us is um, we're not we're not a physical team. That's the thing that's been hurting us all year. Um, we're just not real, real tough up front, and we're getting better. But um, and they they sort of mirror image us. Mm-hmm. Not saying they're not tough, but um, they they run the spread offense. And um, so, obviously, we see that every day in practice because that's what we run. Mm-hmm. And so I think um, with our athletes, we'll match up. It's just a matter of this week um, with their athletes, we, when, we get them in op- when, when they get us in open space, we've got to make tackles. Mm-hmm. But we're putting the same thing back on them. Absolutely, so. and uh, this season there, Coach, you know, uh, losing Brandon Childress and some of the big guns, uh, you kind of reloaded, and uh, you have a very exciting, fast team uh, this year. Uh, what do you bring to the table uh, that's going to make Frankfurt just scratch their head and say, I, 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 they're just too good for us? Um, I just think Deron Copeland has done a really an outstanding job. For he's been a three year wide receiver. You know he's about five seven, about one fifty five. Just a true athletic kid, and he's really stepped in and done a great job replacing Brandon. Um, he brings the athletic ability still to us at that position. Brandon Bean is an explosive six four two two hundred and ten pound wide receiver. Um, we have multiple guys to throw to. Um, I just think. Because we've ran this offense now for about four years, the kids have really bought into it. Um, this, we just, we just want to leave it all in the field. We just want to get out there and say at the end of the night, if we did everything we could do, if Frankfurt's a better team, we'll tip our hat to them, but we're going to let them know that we, we're coming to play. Well, I tell you, coming to play, you guys did that this year all over the state. You start at, uh, you have Reed City game one. You go up to the Superior Dome to take on another playoff uh, team, Lake Linden, Hubble. I mean, your schedule is just an absolute nightmare for you guys, but I think that nightmare made you guys stronger. Oh, for sure. And the, the experience of going up to the Superior Dome and um, playing, um, L- Linden Hubble's ranked fifth right now in Division Eight, um, undefeated. Reed City undefeated Division Five. Um, we we've you know the, over the last couple of years you know my athletic director Sean Williams great he's one of, he's my defensive coordinator mm-hmm. uh, great guy to work with and we're just we're trying to build we realize that once we get to the playoffs we've got to play some quality people and uh, to prepare us for when we get there and we definitely did that and we, 
for support from our superintendent, athletic council, right on down. It's like, hey, we're going to go where we need to go mm-hmm. to get the program in the right direction. I think that's awesome because uh, uh, the kids, it, it had to be a dream come true, you know, that, to be playing uh, up in the Superior Dome and so forth. With, with the way that you, you're sending kids off to college, uh, especially the football players, uh, you know, Brandon Childers playing at uh, Central, and uh, well, I tell you, that, that kid just keeps uh, getting stronger and stronger. You have some great kids this season. And you got some great coaches too. Uh, give a shout out to your coaching staff and, and your team. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Um, like I stated earlier, uh, Sean Williams, he's my defensive coordinator. Um, Craig Bowles, um, he works with our offensive defensive linemen and our uh, special teams. Uh, Lonnie Donald, he is also uh, on our staff for the second year. Um, Robert Watkins and Jeremy Curtis are both working with our junior high. Um, and that's the one thing about us, we don't have a JV. Mm-hmm. Um, our numbers aren't quite there. So we go from, we got freshman kids, we got 19 kids on our team, <laughs> and it's 9 through 12 playing varsity. Wow. So a lot of these kids are getting experience and on the fly against some of these quality teams. Mm-hmm. And so um, leaders for my senior class would be Deron Copeland, uh, Terrell Rogers, Malik Palmer, Brandon Bean, David Simmons, Mitchell Williams, and Deshaun Moore. Those are my seven seniors. So really, really um, just a great group of kids and really keeping the program going in the right direction along yeah. with my coaching staff. Absolutely, Coach. And I tell you, I couldn't be more happy for you. Uh, you know, uh, getting to know you through the years as a friend and as a coach, you you really uh, are doing some special things out there. And I tell you, the Baldwin Panthers are a team that nobody wants to play because, you know what, uh, you bring so much to the table. Uh, it's going to be an exciting, exciting run. Last season was magical. This one also just as as magical again four straight years coach and uh, I can tell you that uh, I think that's pretty special not too many schools can say they did that well I really appreciate that and and that's that's what we we want to get people to say oh you know Baldwin's coming that they don't just have they look past us um, because if they do you know we feel we're, we're quality enough that that that's a mistake you're going to make if you do that well how are we looking health wise going into this game against Frankfurt uh, we're in good shape. We lost one one senior, um, Deshaun Moore, week six at Onekama. He broke a leg, mm. unfortunately, and and so he's been out. But other than that, we're um, we've uh, we're 100. percent Well, coach, all I can say is uh, I, I'm happier than heck for you. Congratulations on this run. Good luck on Friday night against Frankfurt, and uh, hopefully, we're talking about next week and moving on. And uh, very successful program you you've built there uh, for the Baldwin Panthers, and, and I'm very happy for you, the kids, the program, the community, and we wish you the very best of luck. Well, I appreciate that very much, and uh, once again, thanks for. Uh, to you, Bill, and Counterline Sports for um, keeping Baldwin in the loop and all of what you do for high school sports. And if I could, I'd like to give a shout out to Coach Briggs and the um, Mason County Central uh, Spartans, and congratulations to them. Um, he's like the dean of the coaches in the area, <laughs> and I uh, put a lot of time and a lot of effort, and, and uh, my hat's off to them playing in that tough West Michigan. Uh, the C Conference over there, so mm-hmm. good luck to them as well. All right, Coach. Well, that's uh, very well said, and uh, thank you very much, you know, uh, and good luck, and uh, hopefully we're talking to you next week. Uh, have a great week of practice, and enjoy your uh, this run in the playoffs. Hey, thanks, Phil. Thank hey, you very much. No problem. That was head coach Doug Bowles of the Baldwin Panthers. They open up on the road against Frankfurt this Friday night. We'll be right back with more County Line Sports right after this.